Hey folks, it's Heath here, and I'm going to do something that I think is, is pretty exciting today. I'm going to install Windows 7 Ultimate on my system and show you what happens. So just a really quick overview. The system I'm going to install, install this on today is an Intel Core i7 based system. It's the i7-920. It runs at 2.67 gigahertz. I am going to install the 64-bit version of Windows 7 Ultimate. Uh, I currently have 6 gig of RAM on this system and uh, we're just gonna jump right in and see what this thing can do. So here we go with Windows 7 Ultimate installation. We're doing a basic Windows is loading files. Um, this is something I think we're all pretty familiar with seeing uh, anytime that we load up XP or Vista or now Windows 7. So uh, I don't want to make this video entirely too long, so I'm going to wait until something exciting happens and then we'll come back. Alright, so Windows is starting up and I'm actually going to turn some sound on just in case there's any music that um, that we might find interesting to listen to. Okay, so it's a, it's a pretty cool looking background. Uh, normal startup, we're going to select English uh, with a US-based keyboard and wow, so that was pretty quick. It just uh, an immediate install now. No other, no other questions other than language to start it up. The background is pleasing, I suppose. Um, so here are the license terms. I'm just going to go ahead and hit accept on that. And uh, this is going to allow me to either do an upgrade or do a custom install. And so I'm actually going to do a custom install and um, start right from scratch. So I have a disk on here that I've been using for stuff. Uh, I actually am going to re get rid of some of these partitions because I want to start over. Uh, you might be starting with just a brand new system and so I'm going to use all of the unallocated space and make sure that everything got changed. Alright, we're ready to go. I'm going to choose all of the space that's available. It's a one terabyte drive and let's get started. So um, I'm going to stop the camera and then we'll uh, start recording and I'll do a speed up so that you can see the different steps as we fly through this. Okay, we've gotten to the first part of the installation and it's asking me for a username to create my account and a name for the computer. So I'm just going to use Heath and we're going to call this uh, 7. It's going to be the computer name. And it's asking for a password so I'm just going to enter in a quick password. This is my password hint. And now I'm going to enter my product key. And now it's asking me um, something similar to Vista uh, about you know whether I want to use the recommended settings for installing automatic updates. And I'm actually going to choose Ask Me Later because I want to move right through this. Setting the date and time, that looks fine. Uh, let's add it. We're on a home network. And so hopefully it will be able to find uh, my wired network 
and automatically get me connected in. Shouldn't take too much longer. It's just uh, DHCP and excellent. So we've moved right in and now it's going to finalize settings. And we should, in just a moment, have the new interface coming up. So we're at a, almost a minute after the final setup reboot. It's preparing the desktop now. I have really high hopes that this is going to be fast. So we're going on a minute 10 seconds. And there we're in. I have to say already uh, a lot faster than Vista. I'm going to move the camera over so you can see the, the new taskbar. Um, I, I think we're ready to go. It doesn't look like it's asking me any more questions. And so um, let me, let's take a look and see what we've got here on the screen. So in the lower left hand corner, we have a couple taskbar icons looks like uh, Internet Explorer, the My Documents, and the Media Player. And then in the right hand side, we've got our clock, we've got the sound, and a network icon here in the lower right hand corner. Other <coughs> excuse me, otherwise, it's extremely clean. The only other icon that's on the entire screen is the recycle bin in the upper right hand corner. Um, so that's up and running in just a matter of minutes with a fresh install of Vista. I think it is quite possibly the fastest Windows operating system installation I have ever been through. Um, so that's all I wanted to do in this first video. In the next video series for this one, I'll be exploring um, what Vista's got to offer. I'm sorry, what Windows 7 has to offer. So thanks, everybody. Bye.